Hi, you guys. Welcome to a really quick, really easy, extremely beginner friendly sewing project for your holiday table this year. We are going to be making utensil pockets. It's just exactly how it sounds. It's a little pocket that holds your utensil. You can put these to the side of your plates, on your plates, however you want to adorn your table this year. But I wanted to put together a tutorial that literally comes together in less than five minutes so that you can crank these out really, really quickly whether you are cooking for just your family of four or an entire feast and you've got 20 people coming over. You can literally make one for every place setting. The first thing you're gonna need is fabric. I pulled out this absolutely stinking adorable, cannot get enough of it, um, fabric line that Free Spirit Fabric sent to me. It's from Henry Glass. It's called Timber Nomi's Tree Farm. I'm gonna be using these two fabrics. So the first step is to cut two five by 16 rectangles. If you're using a directional print, make sure that the short end, the five inch end is what is running the direction of your fabric. So if I were using the trees, for example, this would be the five inch side and the 16 inch side would come down here. Okay. If you're using non-directional fabric, it doesn't matter. You can cut it any old which way. And then you need to interface it with just some light interfacing. This is the, as you guessed it, if you've watched my channel for any period of time, Heat and Bonds Interfacing ThermoWeb. I absolutely love their product, mostly because you don't have to use steam um, to get it to adhere to the fabric. So I can use my Cricut heat press and it makes super quick work out of interfacing all of these pieces because you do want to interface both sides of your utensil holder. Uh, the first step is going to be to put these two things wrong sides together. Okay. I know that's going against everything we've ever said we're ever going to do, but wrong sides together it is. You want to pin it all four corners and even some more if you want. But again, we're trying to make this in a hurry. Santa's coming, right? People are ringing your doorbell. The roast is almost done. Like we got to get these done, right? Before everybody comes over. <laughs> so take this over to your sewing machine, baste at a quarter inch, three eighths of an inch. Don't be too precise about it. Just a similar seam allowance all the way around all four edges. You're completely enclosing this. I'm going to go do that and I'll meet you back here. Okay, so we've got all of that basted. They are attached. You can tell my edges are a hot mess. That's totally okay. Um, now we need to prepare our little pocket. So we're gonna be flipping this up like so, like I just showed you. And you can see this edge here is a raw edge. By all means, you can turn that down right? And then the next step would be to stitch down these sides. I don't even want to bother with that. So I am going to treat this like I am all other edges of my utensil holder. And that is with this sneaky little trick. And that is these bad boys from Kai Scissors. But did you know that they make rotary cutters that are either like pinked, you know, like the little zigzag, or they even have this wavy one, which is super cool as well. So that is what I'm going to be using to finish, finish the raw edges of my project. Um, that's going to prevent me from having to hem anything, from having to turn anything right sides together. So basically, the, th the only downside to these things is that you cannot use a ruler with them like this and then run it along the edge. You run the risk of the little corners clipping the edge of your ruler and that will dull them. So you kind of have to wing it and you just have to go slow and straight-ish. But even if it's not perfectly straight, I mean, it's homemade, right? It's supposed to be a little bit organic, a little bit free form. So we just go along like this. This is obviously the wavy one. And you can see that it makes that super, super cool um, little wave there. Um, you can also use the pinking one. That would look like this. Here, I'll show you on this scrap. So that's what the pinking one does. It makes a little zigzag. So you can do waves or zigzags. I just think these things are so super cool. You can get them on Amazon. So they'll be delivered really quickly. I will have a link in the description box for you on where to grab these. But once you have that little bottom edge, or I guess what will be the top edge of your pocket done, you turn this over. We are flipping this guy up five and a half inches, five and a half. Again, we're not being super precise. 
but you can see now that makes our pocket and now that edge is finished. So we're gonna go to our, back to our machines. We're gonna stitch along here, back stitching over this little um, bump here and back stitching at the bottom as well. Same thing down here, making our pocket, but leaving this little edge open. All right, so our pocket is sewn. This is where our silverware will go. And as you can imagine, we're just gonna use the same rotary cutter to trim away all these edges and create a really pretty, finish along our project. Now, while I'm doing this, I will say that if you have some extra time on your hands, or maybe you have some elves that can help, the one thing that would totally elevate this project is if you were to also use these as the name plates. If you were to put like Uncle Frank <laughs> up here or even right here, I think that would be really cute too. Uh, you can do that obviously on a Cricut. If you have a fancy embroidery machine, you can do it there. I just think that that would take this up a notch and it might even be a fun little thing that people would want to take home with them. I don't really know how they would use it, but you know, that's their problem. <laughs> um, but it would be a cute way to adorn the table, have everybody know what their seating assignment is and, um, you know, be fully, fully homemade. Here are our finished pockets, right? I mean, I, if without all the talking, this probably took three minutes. Okay, I grabbed some of my silverware. You can drop these in here like so. I don't really know what the proper <laughs> way to do it in a pocket is. Obviously, I know how you do it on a, at a table setting, but I mean, you guys, that couldn't be cuter or faster. Um, so I hope this helps you kind of feel the holiday spirit and give you a little bit of extra push to maybe do something special for your table this year. Leave a comment in the comment section below if you have any questions about this project at all. As you can see, it is for the absolute novice. Dust off your sewing machine from when you made masks and I promise that you can make this. Um, and then check the description box for links to all the products I mentioned today, including the rotary cutters, as well as the fabric line. It'll take you to um, uh, Free Spirit's website. And then you, from there, you can find out where you can buy it locally. So you can grab all of this stuff before this weekend, really. So have fun making these. Send me pictures if you make them. I want to see all your tables done up with the little utensil pockets included. And bonus points if you make it into a nameplate, too. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you all very soon. Bye.